In this video, I'm gonna be showing you five easy ways to make coins in FIFA 21 that are quick and affordable, the main things that you want. You've probably been playing Weekend League, you've probably been playing Div Rivals or whatever it may be. You've bought, sold your team, you've lost coins. You basically need coins, that's why you're on this video, all right? So let's, if you want daily videos, all you need to do is subscribe, and like this video. The like target on this video is gonna be over 500 likes and we are gonna be starting our brand new giveaway for a 25 pound Amazon gift card, which will be announced on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, because after Christmas, as soon as I'm out of isolation, I'm out, I'm going, I need to get outside, boys, because honestly, I am going mental. Like I said, lads, drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, but, Let's get into it. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24 seven service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So boys and girls, I am obviously on my trading to 1 million coin series at the minute. However, we're not really gonna be focusing on that to be honest, because like I said in the video from the other day, I wanna be uploading that series every time I make 100,000 coins. So there's around 10 episodes of which, but in this video, it's gonna be five easy ways to make coins in FIFA 21. My video from the other day with the weird ways to make coins, I think it's on like 20,000 views. So if this video does just as well, I'll carry on doing more stuff like this. You seem to really enjoy it. But let's, I have got myself a little notepad over here. Now, first things first, I'm gonna be talking to you lads about a method which I talk about so, so much. Now this video is basically a video which you can come back to every single Monday towards the start of the week. And you can be using these methods over the course of the week. Now it is gonna be talking, hello. It is gonna be talking about Hunters and shadows. Now, lads, these are honestly the easiest things to make coins. If you have got yourself some spur coins and you honestly can't be bothered trading and you just want to make a couple of K and you've got, say, I don't know, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 coins, this method is perfect for you. What you want to do is jump over to the market and you want to be picking yourself up shadow and hunter cards for as cheap as you can get them. So as you can see right here, I have immediately got myself a card for 3.2K. Now, with hunters and shadows, they are usually the cheapest on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday because people aren't really playing the game as much because obviously people will have played the Div Rivals on Thursday, then they've played Weekend League, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There's not really too much going on in FIFA. So that means that these chem styles get really, really cheap. Now, I would always recommend to just focus on hunters and shadows. Do not focus on any other chem styles because people don't really use them as much. If you take a look at all the pros in the FIFA scene, none of them are running like a hawk on like a random center mid. They're always running either shadows or hunters. Every now and again, they might be running an engine or something else, but it's usually hunters and shadows and these fluctuate so much. So what happens is they're the cheapest Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Then what happens is they start to go up towards the arse end of the week and you can sell these on for around 1,000 to 1,500 coins profit to lazy buyers. They're not going to sell instantly on Friday or Saturday. Just list them up over the weekend, keep relisting them and eventually they'll sell on. So at the minute, as you can see right here, the minimum price in all shadows is 3.4. However, I'm able to snipe some of them, which is really, really good. And this also works with hunters as well. So if I just go over here and just jump over to hunter dead quick, I should be able to see right here, I think that they're going for mid 2000s as far as well. Yeah, so 2.4K on hunters, as you can see right here, these will go to over 3000 coins or the, or the abouts. And like I said, you can get lazy buys on these as well. As you'll be able to see, you can actually get them for very very nice prices on snipes and that's the best thing with this method let's honestly just go and try it out. If you honestly don't know what you're doing, this is one of the easiest ways to make coins in FIFA 21. Now sticking with hunters and shadows, players who have got hunters and shadows on them usually go for a hell of a lot as well. So what you wanna do first off is go and take a look at just defenders with shadows on them. Now I've made videos on this before, I really, really have. So they're not the best in the world. However, you can go through and maybe make yourself some okay coins by doing some sniping around different cards. As you'll be able to see here, there's a couple of cards up, but to be honest, we don't really want to be going for these ones. We want to be more looking at gold rares. As you can see right here, all gold rares are actually going for around 1.9k there or thereabouts. And what you want to do with this is pretty simple. You just want to come over here, go to 1.5k, do some sniping. Now, if you're on PlayStation, the prices might be slightly different. They might be slightly cheaper, but just change the prices accordingly. When you're doing this, don't forget about the 5% EA tax. You want to be making around, probably around, oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, that was a good one. 1.5k, and I know that this guy's going for like, yeah, 4k. Wow. So this guy is actually someone who I was investing in last week, and that is a very, very nice deal. And you can see immediately how this method works. Now, you can also do this with forwards, but you wanted to set it to hunter. Now, like I said, you need to be very patient with this. You want to be ideally looking for around 20% profit per car because after the 5% EA attack, you're then going to be making decent profit. Either way though, there is actually a Richarlison on the market at 1.7k though with a hunter on him. I'm surprised that no one's picked him up to be honest with you, Led. So I tell you what, I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a whim and I'm going to pick him up at one point. Okay, there's quite a few at 1.7k. Okay, so when stuff like this happens, Led, what we do is we ignore it and we try and make more coins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down to like 1.4k, but it's the exact same thing. Just come in and do some sniping or if you want to, you can take a look around the minimum price and just see what deals are kicking about. Maybe you'll find yourself for a Charleston for a better deal than what I've just got it for. Who knows? Uh, this video, we're off the rails on it. But either way, let's, that's another easy way to make some coins in FIFA 21. Let's jump into the next method. Next up, boys, it is going to be sniping with 84s and 80s. Now, for some reason, people are doing this 86 plus upgrade. Why, you might be asking? I've not a clue, lads. I honestly, I don't get it. So I think with that, it's a requirement of like 85s, 84s. It's just a madness, basically. Long story short, these have gone up in price. So you want to be looking for 85 and 84 rated cards. Ideally, you want to be finding your own cards. Don't just copy Tiago Silva because if you go and copy Tiago Silva, right, if you're doing it, someone else is doing it. And if someone else is doing it, someone else is doing it and it just goes on and on and on and there's just way too much competition around the cards now i'm going to be doing this and i'm going to make it look dead easy but when you come to do this if there's other people doing it it won't be as easy as you think now there's a tiago silver there with a shadow on him which i'm quite interested in however i am going to leave him for the time being but what you want to be doing with these is basically just sniping them because they are way too inflated 85 rated cards and especially tiago silver should not be going for anywhere near 15,000 coins. This card is trash. He'll probably be going for like 8K, 7K, 6K if there wasn't an SBC that required him. So what happens is people pack this guy and then they'll list him up cheap like that and then you can come in and potentially be getting yourself a deal on it. And that's exactly what I recommend to do. Go and find some 84, 85 rated players. Cole K is a good one that you can do this with. I'm trying to think who else, 85 rated. Ricardo Pereira would probably be another one that comes to mind. Then you've got loads of 84s as well. Let's Take a look on Footbin, take a look at 85s and 84s, go and do some sniping with them. I guarantee you that you'll be able to get yourself a couple of decent deals. I've got a really, really confusing-ish method. And to be honest, I'm not too sure how well it'll go down. However, just before we get there, let's talk about special card sniping. Now, what I'm going to recommend for you guys to do is basically go and snipe yourself cards or win them on bid, not mass bidding, win them on bid. And it needs to be cards who are special cards who are currently in packs. Now, Kubo is a perfect example of this. Now, Kubo is someone who I've been training with over the past 24 hours. And I'm happy for you guys to sort of pick up this card now. Because I've been trading with him for a lot cheaper than what he's going for now. And as you'll be able to see right here, he's going for around 27,000 coins. Now, basically, if you're looking for like investments and stuff like that, usually players are cheapest Sunday night, early Monday morning. As you can see right here, I was actually selling Kubo consistently today at 24.5k. So that just shows how cheap that he was actually going for but i've got some kubos here at 24 250 25k 24k and i think i've got another at 21 250 and this was basically me winning them on bid last night and now they're up to 27k so with these special cards what happens is right they fluctuate loads because they're in packs and people are using them for weekend league and they go up and down or people want to try them for a few days but you can make very very nice profit by just sniping current special cards so team of the week cards Kubo, for example, he's a road to the final, or Rebic, for example, or whoever it may be who falls within your sort of coin balance. If there's a special card, snipe them. You will be able to make profit on them. Or what you can also do is to try and win them on an open bid. So Kubo, last night, I was picking up a very, very nice couple of deals. I was aiming for around 24,000 coins to be the amount that I picked him up for. And the best thing is when you're trading with special cards is when they get to a certain point, the only way after that is up. So like Kubo, 23k, it's too cheap for a Kubo, man. Like, he's a good card. He's a good card. Admittedly, his links aren't the best. However, he's high medium. His agility is perfect. His pace is perfect. 
shooting could definitely be better, but you're not really using him like that. You're using him more as a tricky winger who's going to be getting up and down the flanks. Four star, four star. In my opinion, I think just 23k is just way too cheap for him. So like I said, you can pick these up on Snipe or you can pick them up on a bid. It's completely up to you, whichever you find easiest. I wouldn't recommend mass bidding and this is something which I've talked about quite a bit before. If you start to do mass bidding leads and there's not really any pack supply like lightning rounds or anything, you're not going to be getting any good deals. Sniping is usually the way to go or you can pick them up on open bid say for like 24k either sell them on instantly wait a few days and they'll go up and sell them on then it's completely up to you now lads if you've made it to this point in the video i'm happy to sort of talk to you about this method because it is quite a confusing method and i appreciate that if you've got to this point in the video you're not someone who just wants quick coins just like that you're not someone who's impatient you're willing to learn about trading and that will be rewarded for staying to this point in the video however what i want to show you is fluctuation trading now this was something that i was taking a look at last night now the popular tab on footbin is quite possibly one of the most powerful things for traders now if you're not using this you need to get on this you really really do uh, by the way I, I don't know what these ads are i've really do you remember him? Take a deep breath. <gasps> anyway, moving on from that. This popular tab is very, very good. Now, what I want to show you are some graphs of different players' prices and how to read graphs and make decent decisions based on the data that you find in front of yourself. So, Pogba, for example, right here is going for 128k and 99k on Xbox One. Now, if we take a look at his daily graph, you can sort of see that there is a pattern emerging with his price. His price comes down, then goes back up, then goes back down, then back up, then goes back down, then back up, then dips probably a bit more because of promos and stuff but it still follows the same pattern it's going like that like that like that over time though it will be on a downward trend because that's just how graphs work in fifa because the longer the year goes on the more supply the prices go down that's just pretty much how it works but you can see right here that every single week right pogba he is his highest around friday time right so as you'll be able to see here his highest friday time go over here Friday time is his highest and then usually he gets to his lowest on around Sunday there or thereabouts and you can see on the weeks that it is around Sunday when he gets to his lowest admittedly here on Wednesday he was quite low but he did rebound on Thursday that could be because of a myriad of different factors but as you'll be able to see right here that last night for example Sunday night he was going for 94k now if you picked him up last night at 94k you could probably now sell him on for over 100k maybe around 104k making 10k profit per card now admittedly you not going to be doing this with like 20k 30k 40k what you're going to be doing if you've got that amount are the trading methods which i've talked about before however if you've got higher budget trading with meta players like pogba gomez varan mendy whoever it may be is a very very good option so i just want to show you lads another player in mendy mendy is someone who honestly goes up and down up and down and he has a very similar pattern to pogba he's highest on the friday then he got drops down sunday monday and it's the exact same scenario here as you'll be able to see friday was going for 73k last night he was going for 52k on playstation 35k on xbox and now he's rebounded back up because he follows the same pattern that he does every week lowest on sunday night and then gradually goes up over the week's period and to be honest if you had spare coins picking up 10 mendies or something like that providing that we don't get anything which could completely crash the market or do massive massive pack supply like team of the year or whatever it may be might not be a bad shout to be honest and i wanted to put this in at the end because i know that it's not the most interesting trading it is quite nerdy it is quite boring i do get that however there's not really too much that you can do to be honest i i honestly think that this is a very very good way to make coins now let's if you enjoyed this video please do drop a like on it. Like I said, I'm doing daily content at the minute, so a like on this video would be perfect. Boost me up in that YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, by the way, for all the support on last night's video with McTominay. I don't know why it did so well. But let's, this is six. This has been five ways to make easy coins in FIFA 21. And I am off. Oh, drop a like on this video. Comment down below if you need help with anything. Subscribe if you're new. And I am off. <laughs> Got it there in the end. <laughs> Goodbye.